Here we find the corpus callosum, the roof of the lateral ventricle. Here's the uh, fornix, the floor of the lateral ventricle. And here's a representation of the septum pellucidum, which is that thin membranous wall found between the two lateral ventricles. There is no representation on this model of the lateral ventricle. The lateral ventricle I could find if I could break through this wall and go down in there, I would see the lateral ventricle. So this is just the septum pellucidum that separates the two lateral ventricles. Here we have the thalamus, the egg-like structure. And here is the intermediate mass. And this groove right here around it represents the third ventricle. Below the thalamus is found the hypothalamus. All in this region right here is the hypothalamus. It includes the mammillary body. So the hypothalamus comes down about like that. I'm outlining it about like that. Including the mammillary body, not including the optic chiasma. Hypothalamus. Um, let's view the mammillary body from this view. Here it is. Here's the optic chiasma. Um, we also have <coughs> the pons and the medulla, and then we're down into the spinal cord. Pons, medulla, and spinal cord. Here is the cerebellum with the arbor vita depicted here, the tree of life, arbor vita. Between the cerebellum and the pons and medulla, we find the fourth ventricle. So here's the fourth ventricle. <clears throat> the gray matter, of course, is this darker tissue. White matter is seen here in the arbor vita.